I have always been a big fan of live broadcasting. I remember when I discovered Google Hangouts way back in 2012, and I did this show called The Social Media Contesta Chat with my co-host Chadney. There was a thrill of being live and engaging with my audience right then and there. You know what I mean? I carried this love of live broadcasting on and eventually I produced an e-course all about Facebook Live back in 2016. And I even continue to do live broadcasting today in my messenger work. But things have definitely gotten better with time. The capabilities of live streaming has grown exponentially and with that comes more chances to build trust, engage with your audience, audience, extend your reach, and build a brand. And nothing does these quite like multi-streaming to more than one social network at once. Recently, I started using a tool called Restream. It was referred to me by my friend and fellow live enthusiast, Stephanie Liu. Now, I wanted to take my baby got chat live show from just being over on Facebook to doing Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. And Restream is one of the easiest ways that you can multi-stream to more than one platform at once. So I thought, why not? Well, some of the benefits of using a tool like Restream include the ability to go live, I get this, 30 plus platforms at once. Now I don't do that, but still. The ability to read comments from all those platforms all in one place and you can showcase them on the screen. People love those shout outs. The ability to show video, branded lower thirds, graphics, and more to make the whole live experience more polished and professional. There are just so many benefits to multi-streaming with Restream, but today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do an easy live on both Facebook and YouTube at the same time using the Restream platform. Now be sure to subscribe to the channel because the future videos I'll also show you how I use Ecamm along with Restream to come up with my broadcasting superpowers as well as other tools and tricks I use to make my live broadcast even better. So let's jump in on the screen and let me show you how to multi-stream to both YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Let's do this. Now, when you first come into Restream, this is basically where you're gonna land. And this is where you're going to connect the channels you would like to multi-stream to. Now you can see here, I've already added a couple of channels, but it's actually very easy to add a new channel. You're just gonna go to this add channel button. You're gonna select the channels. You can see they're all right here. And there's also more down here. Now I am going to select the groups and pages. I'm going to connect Facebook. It's gonna bring me over to Facebook where I will actually activate and authorize. And then we're going to select stream to, uh, I would like to actually stream to a group in this case. We're gonna go down to my baby got bot group. We're gonna click save. All right, so there you go. Now we are in, and you can see I'm offline because I'm not live on any of these channels. And I can keep adding those based on the level of membership I have or subscription that I have with Restream. Now I can toggle on and off where I wanna go live. So when I enter the live studio, which we'll do in just a moment, and I start going live, where do I wanna go live? And so if I don't wanna go to live somewhere, for instance, if I don't wanna go live on my personal account, I can turn that off. If I don't wanna go live on my business page, I could turn that off and just go live on my YouTube channel here and my baby got bot group. So I could decide how I want to do that and I can turn those on and off. And then I can update my titles. Now when you update your titles, this is basically the generic titles that will work whenever you go live if you don't have like a specific description in there. So you wanna make this pretty generic, uh, you know, Kelly's going live or it's the, the Kelly talk show or whatever. And then I can say, uh, join me now, you know, whatever you want to put there. And I can go update all and it's going to update everything. Now, Kelly's going live is going to be in that description. So we'll go back to the dashboard here. Now, once we are ready to go live, you can either use a streaming software. So if you are using OBS or if you're using Ecamm or anything that you like Zoom, you can actually go in and set this up. But in this tutorial, I wanna show you how easy it is to do it all directly inside of Restream. So we're just gonna enter the live studio. We're gonna go up here, we're going to click on allow and it's most likely going to bring in my snap camera. There it is, that's my snap camera. So what I'm actually going to do is go to this little 
settings down here and I am going to select my video output. And in this case, I'm going to select my FaceTime, but generally I would do my, hi, <laughs> I would do my Ecamm live virtual, which would actually bring in my professional grade camera directly from Ecamm. And that, in another video, you'll know that I actually use Ecamm when I'm doing these live streams along with Restream. So we're gonna go with that for now. I also have different audio outputs and inputs. I would, you know, obviously select which one I wanna do that. Um, and then I can go to advanced settings and I can say, do I want this to be HD, noise canceling, all that good stuff. All right, so we're all set. You can see I have my, we're gonna retry this. We're gonna, there it is, hi. Okay, so we. this is our preview. Whatever you see here is what people are going to see. Uh, I can mute myself. I can disable my camera completely, just take it out and you'll just see you know, this little box moving essentially. I can share my screen here. I can invite guests. Um, you can have up to 10 guests on and um, that could be really fun. Um, I can also play local video. So if there is a video that I would like to bring in and showcase that video, I can do that here. Over here on the right, I'd like you to pay attention to this and not my messy office. <laughs> you can go over here to captions and you can preset these. So I can build these, uh, which are great. So I can actually, if I wanted to, for instance, show this, you can see that pops up right there. Uh, I can do this one right here, register via messenger, boom. Um, all this stuff, I can preset this. I can also go in and preset my graphics. So I have my baby got bot logo that'll pop up. There it is right there. Um, you can see I have one for the Restream guys too because they put those in here for us to use as well. And this is what it would look like if you wanted to, let's take this caption out of here real quick. Um, if I wanted to add the Restream logo or you see they have like the lower thirds, you can upload your own lower thirds. I generally do for my own show. And then they have videos that you can play like pre videos. So you see it here, they have a countdown that you can use. Let's go ahead and take all this stuff out really quick. All right, there we go. And um, you also can have backgrounds. Now the backgrounds are kind of important if you have more than one person. And then if there's sides that you would see, there we go, here's, oh, here's the, the timer. So if I have two things going on, this is my background, there's my timer, all that good stuff. All right, and I can kind of move this around, turn myself off, and then in the countdown we'll go, and then I'll turn myself back on and take over the screen. All right, so you can see there. You can also have your primary colors change here. You could show your participants' names. Um, you can go into setup and you can change the title. Now in the other uh, section where I should do the title, those are kind of the defaults in case you forget, you just go live. Uh, this actually will override what you wrote there. So if you have an actual description and all that good stuff, you put it in here. You can also adjust where you wanna go live here as well. And then once you are ready to rock, you're gonna go up to this button up here in the right corner, right there. Click on go live and you will go live everywhere. Now I'm not gonna go live just yet, but in just a second, I'm gonna run a test and I'm gonna show you that when you go live, you can actually see comments. The only time you can't see who the comments are for, so it's like a anonymous, is if you're going live in a Facebook group. All right, so now once you're ready to go live, you're just going to click on this button right here, go live. You'll go live to the destinations that you selected. You will multi-stream. And you're just gonna go over here to the right, you'll see chat right there. And this is where all of your chats from all the various destinations will come in and you'll be able to see where people are coming from. It'll have like a YouTube insignia or Facebook insignia. And you can actually click on comments like this one and you can see it'll pop up so we can all see. You can also type a message, but it's, it's a way that you can actually see everything that is going on. And then obviously if I want to hide something, from the stream, I can take it out just like that. There you have it. Now, depending on the level of subscription you have with Restream, you can stream to far more channels at once than just Facebook and YouTube. I personally have the professional level account at about $49 per month, but they also have a free version if you wanna give it a try and a standard for only $19 a month. You can get $10 off your account with my partner link, which I have shared in the pinned comment down below as well as the description. So if you wanna try it out for more than the free version, go ahead and go for it. I have been thrilled with my extended exposure for my baby got chat live show 
thanks to tools like Restream.io. So if you're looking for more viewers with ease, look no further. I would love to know from you, where do you go live? Where do you want to go live? Are you even going live yet? Let me know what your favorite platforms are and maybe what's holding you back from going live on multiple platforms down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I will be sharing more tips tools and advice for content creators and marketers like you here on the Baby Got Content channel. I might as well share my 14 years of experience with you. If you have questions, want more resources, or just want to join an amazing community of creators like yourself, be sure to join my Baby Got Content Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash BG content. <laughs> I hope to see you over there. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and start creating. I can't wait to see what you come up with.